What's happening people? My name is Robbie and yes, we are back in my bedroom. Please ignore this area, it's quite messy, it's where I dump stuff. Today we're doing another reaction video, I haven't done one of these in a few weeks, but people seem to enjoy them when I do do them. I just need to get in the habit of making more time to actually film the videos. So with the topic of the last two videos being what you should do if you win the lottery, today we are reacting to old lottery winner meets young lottery winner and this is from lad bible hopefully lad bible are okay with this because the last reaction video i did was removed for copyright so i'm just going to film this react to this video and if it gets taken down for copyright again i don't know i'll just go back to cnbc but with that being said let's crack on with old lottery winner meets young lottery winner we went in and ironically enough the table next to ours was 50 cent um, and in the back there was Kanye West, uh, Beyonce. I had 50 cent pass me a bottle of vodka and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy, absolutely mental. Okay, first question. How much money did you win on the lottery? I won 6.1 million. Jesus. I'm a trained engineer, but I was made redundant. Oh. And I was uh, working as a bus driver in uh, North Staff, South Cheshire. I remember this story on the news. That's right, yeah. yes. How about you? <laughs> uh, just a mil for me. My head spin. Just a mil. If he had watched my video on how to invest a million pounds, he wouldn't be saying just a mil. Case at that point was, was really difficult. I mean, I was in a flat I couldn't afford by myself uh, on a single wage. Uh, I was in a job that I'd started three weeks before that, that I absolutely hated and was contemplating leaving, living for every weekend, going out every weekend. I had about 20 grand's worth of visa debt. My, I was going to move back in with my dad. Tell us about the night when you won. I was meant to have dinner with my brother and some friends. My brother and our other mate decided to bin it and go out on a date, so it left me with my one friend. He basically wanted to go get some food, so we went to Morrison's across the road, and I was bored to the back teeth of him picking different steaks up, deciding what steak he wanted. So I thought, right, well, I'm gonna wait outside before I slap him around the head with a steak. Um, and at that point, I walked past the kiosk, bought my lucky dip, dip ticket, um, and then we left. Watched Chelsea Napoli, great game for all. Um, four in the morning, I was getting ready for a night shift the following day trying not to fall asleep and I thought what can I do I checked my lottery ticket so um, was checking it on my phone pitch black um, didn't win scrunched it up put it to the side um, still on my phone it started flashing for some reason saying remember to check your raffle tickets so I obviously unscrumpled the ticket looked there was a raffle thing at the bottom he could have lost a million pounds just chucked a million pound in the bin if that app hadn't flashed that up that's crazy Imagine how different his life could have been. Put the number in, it said, congratulations, you won a million pounds. So that was it. I always think it would never happen to me, and now it has happened to me. I think I'd never do it again, but then again, I know people that have won twice, so maybe I should. What about so, yourself? So did you literally, was that the first time you played when yeah, you won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On a lucky dip, yeah. I, I, I've been playing for, well, since, since it first started. Obviously, you probably had the same, you don't believe ever that this thing's happened to you. So I tried ringing my brother, my mum, my dad, no one would pick up because it was so early in the morning. Um, but because my friends were all out in Bali, um, I FaceTimed them. They were all around the pool, sun shining. Um, so there was me in a pitch black flat with my ticket one side, my face the other. They were checking the numbers for me, obviously realised I won. Um, all started diving in the pool, started ordering champagne. Uh, they started upgrading their hotel rooms, so by the time I got to Bali, I had this bill to pay that I hadn't even contributed towards. <laughs> terrible friends. Absolutely terrible friends. He's up at four in the morning. All of his friends are in Bali without him. He's then told them that he's won the lottery, and they have upgraded their rooms and ordered champagne on a holiday that he wasn't even on. This is, this is why people tell you that when you win the lottery, you shouldn't tell anyone. Particularly if you have terrible friends, like this guy quite clearly did or does. I don't know if he's still friends with them. I wouldn't be. And let's be serious. If you win a million pounds and your friends are in Bali, you probably would show up and buy the champagne and take everyone to dinner and things like that. But wait till the guy offers. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. What about yourself? I can always remember looking at the first two numbers, thinking, yes, I've got that one, I've got that one. 
and I thought, oh, we're in for a few quid here. Fifth number, wow, this is a couple of grand. And then the sixth number tallied. So I went running out of the study into the living room. I ran in saying, I've won the lottery, I've won the lottery. And my wife turned around to me and she said, what have you won, 10 pounds? <laughs> and I said, no, I've won the lot. And she said, what do you mean you've won the lot? I said, I've won the jackpot. I asked my wife to ring up on my behalf at 9 a.m. when the Camelot office opened. Mm. In the meantime, I went off to work. A lot of people on that route depended on that bus to get to work in the morning. So that's really selfless. I would have not done that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Very admirable that he got up, went to work, drove the bus, got everyone to their work. I would have already been halfway to the airport. Or if I won six million, probably halfway to the Rolls Royce dealership or the Lamborghini dealership. Much better man than me. Also another point, we're only a third of the way through this video so we might find out later in the video but I wonder if either of them still have a decent amount of money or if they've both spent it or neither of them have spent a lot. Describe, <laughs> Describe a moment when you thought, I'm rich. Where we lived before I won, they built a brand new Jaguar showroom and uh, Crew's quite a working class town mm. and I always used to think who on earth can afford <laughs> to buy Jags from a garage like that yeah, and then yeah. the next thing you know it's me that's going in there as a customer <laughs> Brilliant. and ultimately bought a, an XJ so. No way, it's amazing. I guess my <clears throat> I'm rich moment was on Valentine's in 2015. Um, I went out to see a friend uh, in America um, and he was like look let's go to this NBA all-star weekend um, party in New York. I think that table on that was about 5,000. We went in and ironically enough, the table next to ours was 50 Cent. Uh, he's a rapper. Um, and in the back there was Kanye West, uh, Beyonce. Um, there was a load of the New England Patriots football team. I had 50 Cent pass me a bottle of vodka and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy, absolutely mental. So that would be pretty cool going to an event where all these celebrities are. But Kanye West and Jay-Z, 50 Cent, compared to these people, a million pound is not a lot of money. Five grand for a table. Even if you've got a million pound, five grand for a table. But again, it was his friend's idea. Are his friends spending his money for him? Sounds like it. Have your tastes become more expensive? <laughs> I still shop at Aldi. Yeah, same, it's amazing. <laughs> yes. I now drive a, big, a much bigger car, I've got a bigger house. Mm. I make sure that from October <laughs> till February, I go away for one week right. of every month of the winter. No way. To make it a very short winter. Yeah. Fair. And that stops me getting bored. Where have you just come back from? Uh, well, we, we've just been on a trip uh, on the Great Rail Journeys uh, through Switzerland oh. on, the, uh, on the snow train. Yeah. This guy just seems like such like a nice guy. Like, he deserves that. He deserves that win. Him and his wife are just enjoying it. Retirement, I would presume. A holiday every month in winter. A nice car. I think this video kind of shows the difference between old people and young people. He's doing a bit of travelling with his wife and he's bought himself a new car. And the young guy, in contrast, is saying that the moment he felt rich was 50 Cent handed me a bottle of vodka. The old guy's probably sat there like, who is 50 Cent? And why does that matter? Beautiful. I always I wanted to do that. What about you? Um, so yeah, you know, going into nightclubs, getting tables, buying clothes um, that you wouldn't be able to afford. I mean, I bought a tuxedo, the, the jacket was two and a half grand, that was in Savile Row. So it was a pretty woman moment for me actually. I went in tracksuit, went into one shop and they kind of ushered me out, hey, you shouldn't be in here. Went across the road, bought this really expensive tuxedo. You know, walked out of it on my back and waving at the guys I walked past. <laughs> so yeah, my, my tastes now have subsided a little bit, but I do love the, the better things in life, if you like, purely because I probably didn't have them growing up. And it's a life I wanted to experience. But two years, I didn't work. Um, and I was going from place to place, you know, seeing all, all parts of the world. And I didn't really concentrate on my bank balance, stupidly. So once you start, checking it and then you realise actually this isn't going to last forever. My mum basically dished out this royal bollocking um, and said you know you need to stop spending money like it's water. Good mum, very good mum. Not working for two years if you've invested it, 
brilliant but if you're just living off that money in two years that'll go down pretty quickly if you're upgrading hotel rooms in Bali NBA All-Star Weekend in New York parties with 50 cent that one million pound will not last very long because no one wants to be the sob story if you like so I've made every effort to not become that person and I feel like it's working out so far and now I'm probably well I know I'm worth more than what I actually won so how did winning the lottery impact on your relationships? My friends all became very close. It was almost as though if you weren't a friend before, you couldn't be a friend after. So I don't know how it felt for you, but it instantly felt like a weight had lifted. Um, I became more confident, as a person. not that I lacked confidence at all, but I found myself feeling like invincible, paying off all my family's debts, um, which is an incredible feeling. You know, because I was in a better mental state, I started speaking to my parents nicer, I started to treat my friends nicer, um, and things like that. So yeah, I guess it made me, I, I consider myself a better person. What about you? It gives me time to be with my family. I can look after my grandson now and help out the rest of the family. Yeah. So the one key thing that it's given me is time, and that, that's so precious to me. Mm. There's one thing I do miss, and that is the uh, camaraderie mm. of uh, work colleagues. Of course, I, I do miss that. You know, I just miss, I do miss the the chat because you don't see as many people as you used to see. Yeah. Obviously, you become slightly isolated. I think mm. in some ways. Yeah, I agree. Overall, I'd say that I have less friends now, mm. but uh, different types of friends. Yeah, of course. I don't know if you're on social media or anything like that, but. Um, because of social media, I mean, I was getting inboxes, letters daily, pretty much, for the first 18 months, maybe. That's why you stay anonymous. Don't announce that you've won the lottery. If you win the lottery, don't tell anyone. Tell your wife, your husband, your partner. Don't tell everyone. Don't post about it on Instagram. You're asking for trouble. And as soon as someone comes along and asks, could you give me some money for this? Then the door is open. Someone else wants some money. Oh, well, you gave it to... John asked you for 10 grand and you gave him 10 grand. Can I get 10 grand? Don't tell anyone if you win the lottery. I didn't want to say no, but you kind of have to be good about it. You can't just say, you know, bugger off. Who do you think you're talking to, etc. So unfortunately I can't help if I helped everyone that asked, I actually wouldn't have any money left because it did really get that bad. Luckily it's died down now five years later, but I'd say I'd still probably get at least one a month. Mm, I found it contrary to that. I. I found that when I was going around crew, uh, people that saw me and recognised me, even even <coughs> people I didn't know, were like tooting car horns and putting their thumbs up yeah. and things like that, you know, which quite surprised me because a lot of people that I did know were saying, oh, you'll be getting begging letters here, you'll be getting please for this, please for that, and it never happened. Maybe that proves that I'm wrong, but the point still stands, don't post on social media if you were to win in my opinion. If I win a million pounds tomorrow, I will not be posting about it on Instagram. I will still be going to work. I'll still be buying my Starbucks on the way. And I would make some sort of cover story up on why I'm driving a Ferrari. Or how I've just bought a 50 grand watch or something stupid. Do you think winning the lottery has changed you? Yes. What it did was almost amplify my personality. So, I mean, I was a generous, I like to think I was a generous guy before. So, if anything, it made me more generous. and. Um, I've always been a confident lad, it made me more confident. I've probably always been the loudest in the room and now I sound like a foghorn. So if anything, it, like I said, it's, it's made me bigger and better, but I wouldn't say it's changed me. Liar. What about you? There's quite a few people I've met that I used to work with and uh, that I knew socially. That's the first thing they say, it, it hasn't changed you. Mm. And my immediate response is, well, why should it? because at the end of the day, it's, it's money. Yeah, of course. At that point in time, it, it really changed my life. And since then, I, I've, I mean, I've met the person that I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life. I've got two beautiful children and I own my own house. I never thought that was gonna be achievable. You know, when you look at the bank balance and it's minus 20 grand and you don't have your own car and you don't have your own house and stuff like that, it was really difficult. If I could jump out of bed with both hands in the air every day, I would, but you start to feel a bit of a knob. The main thing that the money has been able to do is give me time, 
to enjoy the things that I enjoyed doing before that I wasn't always able to do. I mean, if I could bottle happiness and sell it, I'd be a multi-millionaire now. I mean, I haven't had a sad day since um, get to, never look at price tag, get to go where I want, when I want. You know, being able to ring your boss and quit work was one of the best conversations I've ever had on the phone. Um, so yeah, I'm beyond happy, I guess. Well, Pleasure to meet Matt, you. It's been nice meeting you. Great chat. Yeah, same here, and uh, long may your happiness continue. And to you. Thank you. That was nice. I wasn't sure if this video would be a case of, not a sob story, but a cautionary tale of someone who's won the lottery and then, for lack of a better word, spunked it, pissed it up the wall, you could say which you do hear about quite often. So I'm glad that the older gentleman is happy in his retirement, he's getting to see his grandchildren, him and his wife get to travel whenever they like. The young guy, he's got a, he started a family, he's happy without having to worry about price tags and he can travel and do whatever it is he likes. So pleasantly surprised that neither was a cautionary tale. We never heard about the older guy, if he has more or less money than he won, I would presume he probably has more. He doesn't seem to be carelessly spending, the young guy's confirmed that he's got more money than when he started. So maybe that conversation with his mum was the catalyst that made sure he didn't just squander it. Relatively easily done. I don't really know what else to say for that video. Nothing controversial, no one annoyed me. I can't get annoyed at someone making 50 grand a year but still living with their parents or any of these things that you see in some of the videos. Just a nice, wholesome video. Two rich guys, one young, one old. Next week, hopefully someone annoys me a little bit more in one of, in one of these videos so I can go to town a little bit, I'll make sure I pick a good one. But with that being said, thank you for watching folks and I'll see you again on Friday. Take it easy.